video, let's test out the Samsung Galaxy M31. In terms of the build quality of its plastic body, resistance to water and liquid damage, and the crash resistant capabilities of its tempered glass production. The M series devices tested so far on the channel have all failed and if you remember, the Galaxy M30s was not able to survive due to its weaker build quality and we can only hope that Samsung have learned from the mistakes and this time given the consumers at least a decent build quality in the Galaxy M31. Even though the Samsung M31 has a massive 6000 mAh battery, it still manages to weigh under 200 grams at a respectable 191 grams and in my usual trial bend, the build feels kind of okay but only time will tell if the build is actually strong or weak like the M30s. Samsung has an excellent track record of using high quality Corning tempered glass production on most of the devices, even on the budget series and have mostly survived my scratch test. So let's find out if it's the same situation on the Galaxy M31 or not. So starting the scratch test to know the quality of this tempered glass production given by Samsung on the M31 by rubbing it with the blade of a heavy duty box cutter and common items found in pockets. As mentioned earlier, higher quality glass production or even basic conning glass provided on budget devices are easily able to survive the onslaught of the blade. Though on the other hand, poor quality glass production on some budget devices with pre-applied screen protectors and no olephobic coating are not able to handle the blade abuse and end up with permanent scratch marks. How will the tempered glass production on the Samsung Galaxy M31 perform? The tempered glass production was able to handle the blade with ease without any scratches which means the Galaxy M31 passes on a scratch test due to the genuine corning glass. Points to remember are that the Samsung Galaxy M31 does not have any IP certified water resistance and also does not have a rubber seal on the SIM tray which is actually present on some budget devices from other brands. So starting the water test and checking for a layer of olophobic coating on the corning glass production. This olophobic layer helps to reduce fingerprint stains on the glass and as you can see its presence is proved on the M31 when water rolls off the glass instead of sticking to the surface on devices without this layer. There are devices which have suffered permanent display damage in the light splashing round or during heavy drenching. But mostly the first thing to happen, which is common on Samsung devices, is low distorted audio from the external speakers, lasting for many hours, which may damage the sound on the display unit. This does not seem to be the case here, but strangely even before the light splashing round, somehow the touch function seems to have been compromised. The slightest amount of water which entered from the bottom port has already started the process of liquid damage. And as you can see, the screen has already become unresponsive. It took about 2 hours and a restart for the M31 to fully recover, making this the shortest water test on the channel. The Galaxy M31 does not really pass my water test because of its low liquid resistance and it's best to keep it away from water as much as possible. Next up, moving on to fun stuff with value. The bend test gives us a clear idea about the build quality of devices. And here's a quick reminder of what had happened to the Samsung Galaxy M30s during the bend test. Has Samsung improved the build quality in the M31 or is it the same like the M30s? The first bend from the display side has less degree of flex compared to other polycabinet builds and only a slight clicking sound but no glass shatter or damage until now. The second bend from the back side has a bit more flex to it with a louder cracking sound. 
But fortunately, the M31 still survives because the M30S at this stage had developed cracks on the glass and eventually it completely failed after the third bend. The structural strength and build quality of the plastic M31 reminds me of old Samsung devices which had great strength. It's a big relief that it is the total opposite to the failed M series and soft A series devices tested so far on the channel. The Samsung Galaxy M31 handles the third bend like a champion with strong build quality and design language and passes my bend test.